Yo, how are we all doing lads and lasses? Welcome back to a brand new video in the channel. Today I have some very exciting news for all the Hull City fans out there in the world. New owners, finally. We have been blessed. Um, Asam Alam obviously been our owner for ages, maybe even the decades that we've been around. 1904 to now, I think he's just been our owner from then on. Um, but today, it's very good news. Very, very good news. We've always been chanting Asam well, no, Alam out and you're killing our club. What, you said you'd sell us, so why haven't you gone yet? So, now it's just a case of whether the talks will go through because Akuna Likali, um, I'll talk about him in a minute, they're still in talks with the Alam family, still trying to work things out a little bit. But let's get right into the video and the news. Okay, so it says here, Akun Ilikali, um, Turkish interpret uh, entrepreneur. I always get the words mixed up for some reason. He's an entrepreneur and a businessman from Turkey. He's always been a football fan, so obviously he's probably been supporting a Turkish club, as you would. Example, Galatasaray. Um, but yeah, he's always been a football fan. He's always wanted to own an English club. Come here. Um, but yeah, he's always wanted to own an English club and he's um, said to do that by purchasing the Tigers. Um, it says here that he's already had views of owning a club like us and getting us, trying to get us to the top tiers of English football. We've just been in League One this season, we've had a cracking season. We have ended the season on a high by being champions, had the trophy lift after the Charlton game. Now we're having a little bit of a showcase at the KCOM Stadium, where everyone can have a picture with the t trophy and also just see it in general. Um, but yeah, great season this year. Um, so hopefully we can have a good season next year. I don't think, before before anyone even says this to me, or asks me a question about it, I do not think we'll go straight up. And that's that's just me being, like, realistic here. I, I personally, as Hull City, don't think we'll get through to the Premier League straight away. I think it'll take us a couple years to settle in, or a year to settle in, and then... We'll go the next year. And if we do get near the Premier League, thumbs up to the tie for the players, uh, as they are probably the best team we've put out um, in a season where we've been in the struggle. We've been in this sort of temptation of, oh, we've, we're gonna, we might get relegated to League Two, who knows? Or we might get promoted again, we might not get promoted again, we might have to stay in the league again. Um, this is this day today when I'm recording this. It is the day after the champion uh, championship league one playoff and well and championship playoff finals. Brentford win two 0 against Swansea City after beating Bournemouth in the second leg by three goals to one to go through on aggregate. Barnsley lose to Swansea by two goals to one on aggregate um and 1-0 in the second 2-0 uh, in the se in the first 1-0 in the first leg and 1-0 in the second on oh, no, the draw 1-1 one, one in the second um Brentford won 2-0 Ivan Tony and Kat Macondes I think it was um Emiliano Macondes to get the goal for them to get them promoted right back up into the big time um into the Premier League League One player final, Blackpool went 1-0 down inside 50 seconds. It was absolutely enormous for Lincoln City to get a goal after that. It was basically Lincoln City 2-0 against Sunderland in the first leg and then um, a 2-1 loss in the second um, against Sunderland. But the Black Cats couldn't proceed as that, go that away goal really settled it and put them through on aggregate. The Imps, however, faced Blackpool, who had recently beaten Charlton, I think. I'm not. I'm not so sure because I haven't. I haven't remembered that for a while. Oh no, it wasn't. It was Oxford United. Yeah. So Oxford um, sealed their place, and they got beat 
quite sufficiently. And um, it was such a good playoff final as well. Lincoln City went 1-0 up inside 50 seconds. It was basically a ball in from the right-hand side and into the box. Hopper missed it. Oh, yeah, Hopper missed it. And then Ollie Turton put it into his own net after getting his feet mixed up. And it went in. Blackpool, however, came back. Uh, Kenny Dougal with, was the one who struck two. One with his left and one with his right. Who sent Blackpool through. But moving back to Hull City, we, we need to get back. We, we could be there again. We could get there again. Um, if we really tried. Um, but yeah... We we could if Akuna Likali signs the deal and Asim Alham leaves, we could turn into the team that almost beat these kids. Fucking hate Arsenal because they beat us in the FA Cup final. However, it was a great day no matter what. And up there, <laughs> there you can see a little ribbon that was from the Hull City Sheffield United f semi-final in the FA Cup when we won five three. But. Again, I think Akuna Likali, he can take us places. I think he can do that. I want to see him try and sign more players, get uh, the club in, more involved in every other player that they can see that stands out. And then, because you, when, you, when you're trying to sign players, you have to look right into the details. You have to get into every stat they have, pull out different bits of information, dig down deep um, to get the facts you want. And I think that's what Alikali is going to try and do for us. Because um, with McCann on his side, he's a great manager. He's done well for us this season. We're going to keep him on board for another two years, I think. Um, another contract for him. Um, uh, we've already signed like five youth players, I think. And then we're going for Ka Andy Cannon from Portsmouth. I think it's Andy. Um, I'm, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong with these. But it's Cannon from Portsmouth. And he is a midfielder or a striker. So that'll be very good for us. We need a new midfielder at this point. Honeyman couldn't play in the Charlton game, I don't think, because, or at least one game, because he was injured. He was actually injured this time after faking it against Doncaster um, and some others. Um, but yeah, t uh, nothing um, again to take away from any of the sides in the Championship or League One next season. Premier League is going to be hard for Brentford. I predict they'll finish like 15th or something. Um, I will. I think they will stay up, but it's going to be a little bit iffy. Um, Norwich, Watford and Brentford all go up um, with Blackpool, Hull, us and, well, and Pot Peebra, who didn't really deserve it against Lincoln, but it is what it is at this point. Um, but yeah, Akinolikali come in for Alam, we'll get the deal sorted. If he says yes, we are going places. I believe Alikali can take us places. It just depends how well he does. Because in in an owner perspective, you have to deal with all the paperwork. You have to deal with all the signings and all that, as well as the manager as well. So you and the manager have to have a very good relationship and bond um, to try and get these players done. You have to agree with each other. You have to make sure that you understand what he's saying manager and owner vice versa um but yeah very good news this was just a little quick video just saying um hi how are you doing um i'm on half time right now and also about the new owners um there's nothing much yet about four years ago quick fact about four years ago we were invested by co chinese consortium for 130 million pounds um but we they backed off i think um, as that didn't go through well, or we just pushed them away because we got promoted that year. Um, but yeah, yeah, again, it's been a brilliant season this year. Hopefully, a good season next year as well. Um, and luckily, if he does come in, we have a good chance of getting places, and hopefully, he's not a greedy bastard <laughs> because Asim Alam. Get the fuck out of my club. You're ki One, you're killing it. Two, you're greedy. Three, you sold... You made both our best players go west. Ham and Brom. <laughs> go west in London. Where Brom and ha Ham and Brom. Obviously, 
Bowen's played more times than Grzycki, but again, it's it's going to be a real pleasure to work with. Um, Elikli, as I said before, early in the video, he's always wanted to manage an English or own an English football club. He's always been a football fan, so this is going to be a brilliant move for him. Um, let me know in the comments what you see, what you what you'd like to see um, throughout this season. What you think, what you think we're gonna do? If you, what signings we're gonna make? What signings would you see? Would you like to see us make? If you, uh, your predictions of next season, where we're gonna finish? Um, in my opinion, I think we'll finish like high mid table. I uh, don't think we'll get a sixth or or more. Um, because I, I mean, I'd love to see it happen, but um, it just depends with the teams that we're coming in because we're playing West Brom, Sheffield United, and Fulham. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I'll see you next time I will record a video. A little quick mention: twenty fourth of June, my birthday, on Thursday. Nine a.m. fixtures are released for Hull City's next season, and I will see you in the next video. Like, subscribe. Turn all the notifications on, and hopefully, I'll am out. Let's get this deal done and turn back into this team. Up the Tigers. Come on, boys. Let's get promote. Let's get right back to where we're supposed to be. Let's get a lickily, kick a lamb out, or the Alam family out, and let's have a good season next year. See you all later, guys. That's full time. Hull City new owners are on their way.